This is Noreen Crone Findlay from CroneFindlay.com and ToddyTalksCrafts.com. And today I'm doing a little video tutorial which offers some tips and hints for embroidery on the Zoom Loom. Here are my all my links and things. There's my website, CroneFindlay.com, my blog, ToddyTotsCrafts.com the YouTube uh, link. Well, you're here right now, so you know that one. And there's Etsy, where my patterns and ebooks and things are sold. And follow me on Facebook. Go to Noreen Crohn Findlay Designs on Facebook. Now, this tutorial is actually part of a really fun thing that I'm taking part in. Uh, there's a Ravelry group on, uh, called the Zoom Loom Club. And the moderators of the Zoom Loom Club decided to have a weave along with on the Zoom Loom for doing uh, Four Seasons dolls. And that's what this, um, this is my contribution to it. I'm just one of the members of the group. I'm not one of the moderators or anything, but this is part of what I'm doing for my winter Zoomy doll. So this little video, I'm doing it because I have embroidered a face for my um, for my doll for the Zoom Loom doll weave along on Ravelry, and the first tip I'm going to give you about doing embroidery on your Zoom Loom is to not do the embroidery on the right side. It's to turn your zoom loom over and do your embroidery on the back side of the loom so that you're embroidering with the pins pointing down because that way it's just so much easier to do your embroidery because then the pins aren't catching. I mean sometimes you'll still catch when you're taking your threads through to the back side but definitely the easiest way to work is with the pins pointing down. And You'll notice that you've got a grid of 31 warp strands and 31 weft strands. So when you're doing your drawing for um, for your whatever you want to embroider, if you have some graph paper, you can do a graph that's 31 squares by 31 squares, and you can graph it out on graph paper, which I haven't done here, obviously. But graph paper is certainly an excellent way to work. Um, I always like to work, sorry, banging the, 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 um, what's that called? Easel. Tripod. I like to work with doing a whole bunch of sketches first and then decide on my, which one I'm going to use as the finished, um, um, the finishing that the, the project is going to go ahead with. What I did to start my embroidery was I took, because I wove my square with uh, the beige color or flax or linen color shade of bonbons from the cotton, one of the cotton packs of bonbon threads by Lion Brand. I took a, an orange uh, felt tip marker. It's an artist's, um, they're artist felt tips. And they, so they've got a very fine tip. And with the orange, I drew the features that I wanted to embroider right onto my um, onto my square. And because it's quite close in sh in shade to the uh, fabric that I'm I wove the face with, it's not going to be really discouraging and show up. I wouldn't have used a purple because that would show up. Uh, afterwards and I might not necessarily want it to show up. What I did do after I finished the we, um, embroidery was I used um, aqua, aquarelles which are pencil crayons that are watercolor pencils and I used one of the pinks uh, to just lightly touch her cheeks with color and then I um, put a bit of water on the tip of my finger and rubbed that to give her a bit of cheek color. And I also took another one of the aquarelles and I 
drew in a little bit of color above her eyes. And I took some an, another of the um, of the aquarelles and I just shaded in a bit above the eyes, shaded in along the nose, just to give a bit more depth and dimension. So feel free to embellish your embroidery after you've done your embroidery and just doing simple running stitches or in this case I did couched lines which means I laid the thread on and then I just stitched them down to with uh, the, the same color of thread just to give me the simple lines that I wanted. So embroidering on the um, zoom loom or really any other loom. I figured out the turn the loom to the back side uh, trick when I was working with my potholder looms. And really any loom, potholder loom, any kind of pin loom, flipping it over, doing your embroidery on the back side is probably one of the best hints and tips you'll find for doing your embroidery. And also to do lots of sketches and play around first with your drawing. And if you're more comfortable then taking your drawing to the, um, the uh, uh, graph paper and graphing it out and doing like a cross stitch um, kind of technique, go for that too. But the most important part is to really just have fun when you're embroidering on your weaving. Happy weaving, everyone. <laughs>